Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can uh, implement instance search using Laravel and Vue.js. You know, in the previous video, we learned how we can search, like you write a keyword here and then you press enter. It is going to search in database. Let's say we write admin and we press enter. It is going to send an HTTP request to the server. Oops, it is. It should be this big, yeah. And it is going to give the new information here. Of course, it is going to search in the email type and the name. But what we are going to do in this video is without pressing the enter, it should instantly update our data here. Let's see how we can do that one. So following the previous video, we know that we just put an event here and we said if someone presses any keyword, which is enter, call this function. This function is of course in our app the js here. This function is going to call a, a custom event searching and the searching is going to inform all our component that we are going to search for something and then it, it was updating our information here. It is a lot reusable like in your future components you can use this one. For now what we are going to do is I'm going to remove the enter here. I mean if someone press any keyword call the function. Let's save it coming to our application reload your page so that we get new information for now if i come here we have only one http request uh, xhr request and if i come and write something let's see we write test t e s t oops it just sent four requests to the server for each character for each each time i type something it is going to send an hxr request to the server like this so you know this is not good for performance what i'm going to do is it should at least wait one second and then it should send the request to the server it should wait like someone should complete the word or the sentence then it should start that is what we are going to do it is not good for the performance because uh, imagine if you have like one million users every day and every one of them is going to search at the same time if they are going to write any keyword which is like 10 character it should it will send 10 xhr request to your server and your server might go down that is not good for the performance so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix this issue in this video so let's see how you can fix this one there is a library called lodash if you have heard of this one or you have if you have used this one when you install level it will come by default if you go to bootstrap.js at the top here we assign we require lodash and we assign it to underscore window dot underscore now anywhere in your application you have underscore dot all the functions you have in the lodash you have access to them one of those function is called debounce debounce is a nice function it is going to call a function but it will wait for a few seconds the number you can give plus it will have it will accept a few optional parameters so let's see how you can use this one for now if i come to my app we call the function we fire the event what if we could could wait for one second and then fire this one this is what we are going to do this is like es6 version of writing the function in vue.js what you can do is you can write a keyword here and then you can say we are going to call a function this is the same thing but instead of that what i'm going to do is i'm going to write underscore dot debounce and we call the debounce debounce is also going to call a function but if you look at this one so i will move this one all the way up here what it is going to do debounce is going to accept three parameters we know this one oops i should remove this two yeah three parameters the first parameter call a function the second parameter let's say two second this is the millisecond so two thousand millisecond is going to be two second what this is going to do it is going to say if someone call me I will wait for two seconds and then I will call the function or this function and it is going to fire an event and then we can send HTTP request when we heard about the event so I will save all my file for now let's come to our application here we hard reload it make sure you press uh, ctrl shift r to hard reload and get all new javascript files for now if I start typing something let's say we write test two second yes it sent the request in two second it just wait two second and then it just went like that and if i remove it it wait for two second 
and it is going to send the request again but we got an error 500 error because query is empty that is going to give us an error i will fix it in just a moment for now you have understood how this is going to work right so this is good that you know how it is going to work if you have any question of course you can ask below the video but this is that much simple using debounce and here is how you do that one how are solving the error if it, the query is empty it is not doing anything so of course you can do it by yourself but i will do it quickly if i go to user here we know that this is a condition that see if you have query and if you have it then go and take the information from database what you can do is you can write an else condition if you do not have any query simply return five user from database come here up oh, don't return it just store it in the user variable later we re return it like this if i save it this time and if i refresh the page this time we should not get any error but it should be a lot better also okay no 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 here of course in the javascript two seconds is too much it should be at least one second like every one second it should send the request in one second you can type a word i think and i will refresh the page again this time it should work just fine so let's start typing and it should send the request in every second every second is too much i think and i will just start writing like teacher yeah i could write the teacher in one second now it is going to search for the teacher if i remove this one in one second it is going to get all the information from the user with empty query and if i write test it just gave me the test and if i write let's say let's say add me no add me no 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 we don't have any add me that's why it just query nothing from database this is how you can use instant search in your application so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video make sure you google it first if you could not solve it you can ask me that is because if you learn how to use google then you can solve a lot of your problem when i am not present so i hope it has been uh, something good and we will continue on how to print the page in the next video how you can print your invoice in pdf and png whatever i don't know and that's what we are going to do in the next video